Some viewers may find the content in this video disturbing or upsetting. You have been warned. Steven Spielberg. You've heard the name. You've seen the movies. Indiana Jones, Jurassic Park, E.T., Jaws, you know the rest. But today we're going to talk about a near three hour long war movie that... No, not a war movie. Not close to a war movie. Today isn't going to be one of those videos. Today we're going to talk about Schindler's List. I've never been a huge Spielberg fan, but Schindler's List is truly a work of art. A movie filmed in 1993, I was truly surprised after watching it. I had to stop two thirds of the way through because it got about, well, real. And that's when it really sinks in that six million people were murdered. Six million? If you think about everyone you know, then times it about 6,000, that's how many people. That really happened. It's a very stylized movie, being shot in black and white and having only one instance of colour in it. But we'll talk about that later. The film follows Oscar Schindler, played by Liam Neeson, a wealthy businessman who saved over 1,200 Jews from being gassed towards the end of World War II. This really happened. Midway through the war, Oscar Schindler had thousands in his bank. By the end of the war, he had none, as he had spent it all buying Jews. Schindler wrote down the names of over 1,200 people and requested for them to be moved to his factory instead of Auschwitz. Once the war was over, he let them go and fled to West Germany with his wife. He grew old with his wife on a farm and died on October 9th, 1974. He truly was an extraordinary man. The film is often not afraid to go all out with its imagery, including nudity, murder, dead bodies and distressing scenes. It really doesn't hold back and I think that's a good thing as it really shows you the atrocities that occurred. The scene that made me pause the movie is a scene called Mozart or Bach and it's a scene in which a Nazi plays the song on the piano while all around the neighbourhood, even upstairs and downstairs in the house, Nazi soldiers are shooting and murdering Jews. <laughs> The piano notes play with the timing of the gunshot. After watching it, I just paused the movie, got out of bed and went downstairs for a bit. There's just something so cruel and darkly ironic about it. Then there's the colour. It doesn't exist. The film is shot in black and white, a very stylistic choice from Spielberg. It makes the world feel so much bleaker and also lets him experiment with colour. There's no colour in the movie except for one thing, a little girl in a red coat. She is the one piece of colour in a black and white world, the spark of hope necessary for a brighter future. And she ends up dead in a cart, getting wheeled along to be burned. This is the moment in the movie when Schindler realises the Nazis are truly evil once they are willing to go so far to murder a little girl. Of course, there's also the ending scene. It's outrageous Liam Neeson didn't win an Oscar for this. The Jews he saved make him a ring with the inscription, whoever saves one life saves the world entire. Schindler then breaks down, looking around and wishing he had sold more of his possessions to save more people. He goes from laughing to crying in a matter of seconds and it's heartbreaking as he cries he could have saved one more. This is gold. Two more people. You would have given me two for us. At least one. You would have given me one. One more. One more person. Person is that. For this. I could have got one more person. And I didn't. <laughs> the actors line up beside the real Schindler Jews to place a stone on his grave. One by one, the remaining Jews place a stone until the edge is completely filled up. Then Liam Neeson places a rose on his grave and we cut away. In memory of the six million Jews murdered. I'm not going to ask you to like or subscribe today. I hope you took in my video and 
enjoyed it at least. And I can't recommend you watch Schindler's List enough. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.